Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to start looking at the newest line of, uh, the newest wave of Star Wars Black Series figures for 2018. Um, we're going to start off with Rex, but this will also bring uh, DJ and uh, Resistance Outfit Ray. So we'll take a look at them two in the next two videos. But I want to start off with number 50, 59, Captain Rex. Yeah, I'm really, really pumped to have this figure. I didn't get the uh, Hascon exclusive, so I'm really excited to have this one. These are the first figures um, that Hasbro have started using their new face printing tech, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, I haven't seen a close-up of this one next to the Hascon exclusive, so I can't say for sure that they used that tech on that Rex first before this re-release for the standard line. But, uh... Awesome piece of art there by Gregory Titus. Um, you can find him on Instagram. Definitely recommend checking out his stuff. Um, and the uh, Star Wars The Black series on Instagram also shares a lot of his art. So you should be able to scroll down his feed and um, you should be able to find this black and white line work which uh, goes back to Gregory Titus. Um, definitely worth a look at. So this is number 59 if I hold it that way. A little read up on the back there of Captain Rex. Um, yeah, so, so excited to have this figure in the six inch line. He's an absolute instant winner in my books. Um, and yeah, I, re I really hope these uh, next few videos really do justice. Um, the detail, the way Hasbro has um, changed up the way they're gonna paint these faces. I hope it stays. Um, as far as I know, it's into the into the future. So, you know, we've got figures like Tarkin coming, which is, which is gonna benefit greatly. Um, even DJ in this line, it's while it's not perfect, it definitely benefits. Um, if you think of figures in the past, we've had like the first Poe Dameron in the pilot suit. That was, yeah, that wasn't great, was it? Um, but yeah, this is certainly going to turn things up a notch. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to bring these reviews to you. Um, excuse my dog in the background. He's deciding to be an idiot and let roll around. So if you can hear him, excuse that. But let's have a close look at Rex here. Now, I hope that light's okay. I might try and just bring the brightener, brightness up in post if it, I'm just looking at it on my little screen here. I think it should be fine though. Let's get a nice good look at him. So much just weathering and detail on this guy, like, and just the scratches and the paint. They're all digitally applied. Weathering throughout the back of the helmet there. I love I love Rex's helmet too. He does come with two blasters. Um, there was the one thing I did have to fix on this one. Um, is he's only got one trigger finger hand. He's got two pistols, two holsters, one trigger finger hand. So I just, um, yeah, it was this one. I did just have to slice those fingers apart so a little bit could fit in there. I've had to do that with some three and three quarter figures in the past and it hasn't really, hasn't damaged them. It's been fine. Just do it really carefully. Um, I used an X-Acto knife. Um, if you need help, ask someone to do it for you. Um, yeah, just be careful if that's something you want to do. But it makes them, makes them look a lot better when he's holding these two blaster pistols and they fit really nicely in the holsters on the side of the belt, which is awesome. Um, his uh, Karma there, which is really cool. Nice, vibrant blues. The uh, pauldron's actually fixed onto... Must be fixed somewhere. I haven't actually had a close look. But it is, um, it's not wobbling around or anything like some of the other figures have had in the past. Now that uh, Rex's modifications that he's done to his armor where he's welded the... Uh, plastoid together. You can see these weld marks up the side. Which is, you know, there's a, there's a bit of orange and some silver through it. Same with the helmet there. I've seen a couple of these already where the some of the paint apps don't quite match up on the, on the helmet. Mine seems to be okay. A little bit off-center at the top there with the J guys just to the Sort of moving to the to the right a little bit. He's left. You're right. Um, but you know, so it's fine. I'm happy with that. It looks okay. 
love all the kill tally marks that he's got. All up his arms. And his uh, little rangefinder does come down, which is nice. That's a cool addition. Yeah, just the overall detail on this figure is fantastic. I definitely, definitely love this one a lot. Now let's pop off his helmet and get a look at this bang on version of Tamira Morrison. Um, yeah, this is just, let me just move his arms down. Check it out. This is the uh, kind of quality that if you want this kind of quality in um, facial likenesses, um, you either go 12 inch and you go go into hot toys and sideshow collectibles, or if you want to stay in the six inch range, you've you've had to sort of go to the uh, Bandai's SH Fig Arts or the Mayfex line um, to get figures of this likeness. But Hasbro has decided to say this leap. They've uh, listened to the fans for a while now. Um, well, there have been a lot of great figures and a lot of great face work paint done. It's there's there's been a lot that haven't hit the, hit the mark and um, you know we're very passionate and there are a few people in Hasbro that are listening to us and they've uh, they've made the change and I think this speaks for itself. That is just absolute quality. And there's a couple of little miss bits there where where it's uh, you can see a couple of little spots on his cheek where it looks like the. Uh, the blonde from his hair has sort of, it's just sort of rubbed on onto his cheek, but um, no, I'll find a way to clean that up a little bit, but I'm not too bothered. I'm mostly, I'm probably going to um, display him with his helmet on anyway, because I just, just love this helmet. But man, that is just so good. <laughs> It kind of makes me makes me want to go back and do the uh, Django Fett again. Oh, yeah, I just can't get enough. So, yeah, like I said earlier in the video, I really hope I'm doing this justice and giving you guys a really good look at this thing. Some just some awesome details throughout this whole figure. Let's just scroll through the body again. Standard articulation for this guy, as per most of the um. Black Series figures, um, no different to any other clone that we've had in the past, with the addition of that range finder on his helmet that I showed you earlier. But yeah, just some of the dirt and weathering throughout this guy is, is pretty damn sweet. So I hope you've enjoyed this review, guys. Um, I'll be back with, I haven't decided yet, DJ or Ray next. Um, I'm gonna do my best to upload these pretty quickly and sequentially so you can check out all three on the go but I thank you all for watching definitely let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, stay tuned for the next one till then may the force be with you